Okay, so the observer, this is just another tool to get to the same place that we did with feel the feelings. So if there's any kind of, um, if there's any pain or if there's any sort of feeling within the, oh, thank you, oh, thank you. So if there's any kind of uh, pain or if there's any kind of feeling in the foot or if there's any thoughts that are happening, then understand that whatever experience happens, whatever experience happens, it has to be observed. So, like if I hold this, um, if I hold this pen here, nobody's the pen. Does anyone believe they're the pen? Yeah. No. Okay, good. Thank you. So, so when, when an object is observed, there's detachment from it, and it's experienced not to be what one is. And it doesn't, it doesn't create any, it doesn't create any limit on the, that which is observing it. Does that all make sense? Do you understand what I said? Mm, not quite. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this pen, this, if, if, if um, and we're recording, but if this, pen, if this pen is being observed, it doesn't harm you in any way, and it's not you. Mm -hmm. So there's complete freedom. There's free, you could say there's freedom from the pen, and the pen does not stop. The, pres the pen, pen has no effect on the observer. Is that, that's correct, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. So, the next thing is like thoughts, okay? So, is to understand that if um, the only time that a pen creates problem is if there is interest in the pen, or if there's hooking into the pen, or there's attachment to the pen, then there seems to be a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, there seems to be a limiting relationship with the pen. But if it's like totally not uninteresting and there's detachment from it, then it's completely observed and it doesn't affect the observer. So, the next thing is thoughts. You know, thoughts are passing by, but there is that which is observing thoughts, which is not thought. So thoughts pass by, yet there is a, an observer of thoughts which is not affected by the thoughts. Uh, okay, so you got it. Is, is, there an, is there an observing which is not the thoughts? Is there an observer that's watching thoughts which has got no relationship to the thoughts? Yep, okay, good. So we know that. So the next thing is that then... So, when one is the observer, then the, th the thing that is being observed, when one is the, the detached observer, then what is, being, what is going before the observer has no effect on it. You see, there's still absolute freedom and peace and stillness. Because, like, if I suddenly pick up a pen, it doesn't affect anything. So, if there's thoughts, these thoughts have no effect on the detached observer. There's no relationship to them, they're nothing. In fact, they start to disappear when one is a detached observer. The same would happen with uh, pain. If there's pain in the foot or there's pain in the abdomen, then if, if one is now becomes the observer of the pain, or the detached observer of the pain, then this, this also, if one goes into the complete detachment of the detached observer of the pain, the pain will disappear. You see. It's only if there's attachment or hooking in, then this thing seems to become real. Yeah. So, so thoughts are observed, pains are observed, the body, the location is observed. Something, you know, like this is this pen has a location. But if you observe everything, but something is observing all locations, that which observes all location. Has it got a location? So that which it, which is observing locations is it has no location. Something you know, something within the consciousness tracks time. But that which is uh, which observes time is that in time? No, no it's timeless. 
So that which, is, that which observes is actually before time. It's timeless. Has no, there no time exists there. No vacation exists there. No pain exists there. You know, so so it, it's timeless, it's locationless, it's painless. Yeah. So what creates phenomena is if there is an attachment, or if there is a hook, or there's a relationship, or there's an interest, then suddenly it's like pain can be experienced, thoughts are experienced, time is experienced. But if you go to that which is, a, it's an experiential exercise, you know, unhook and be the detached observer, and then these things disappear. So, okay, so I'll stop this.